Hi Pisces, I hope you're all well today. So we'll be looking at whoever is on your mind for the rest of April 2022. We have a Libra, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, a little bit of Aquarius. Wow, this person's under a lot of stress. <laughs> Their energy for the rest of April, we have Nine of Swords, Four of Swords. This severe anxiety. This person's pretty much stuck in their head, overthinking, overanalyzing. They're I'm not sure why they're stressing out so much. If there's no contact, um, you're on a break, which I'm getting there's blockages in, in communication for a lot of you. Um, this brings this person a lot of stress. For example, even if they were the ones that pulled back, um, there is a lot of stress, guilt perhaps, for what they've done. Some of them are getting their karma here with justice, but let's see. Why is Nine of Swords here for this person's overall energy? Death. There may have been a literal ending in their life, um, something they're mourning here, or for a lot of you, there can be an ending between the both of you, right? Because I do have a world in your outcome, and that is bringing this person a lot of stress here. Why is Four of Swords coming through for this person's energy? They're trying to heal, work on themselves. Page of Swords. Yeah, this has to do with you. Look, Ten of Swords. Painful ending between the both of you. And this person keeps an eye on you. They're having a hard time letting go of your energy completely. How they're viewing you, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups in reverse, needy, codependent. Um, someone who's, yeah, that you're, that you're dependent on them or you were. Um, you're emotionally all over the place. You miss them. Now, is that the reality? I don't think so. Because if I look at your feelings, uh, it doesn't support <laughs> how this person's viewing you, right? Why is this person seeing Pisces as the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, see? Five of Cups, that you miss them. You're mourning them. You feel the same way. But you're getting over them is what the cards are indicating. How they're feeling about you or will be feeling about you. Fool, temperance in reverse. There's trust issues here. They're not taking that risk or leap towards you, right? But they're also very impatient, restless when it comes to you, when they think of you. Why is Fool in reverse here? Yeah, they're holding back their feelings here from you. Nothing's being expressed. They're not being vulnerable, but there's love here. Two of cups upright. Will of fortune, okay. They're saying it's not the right time. Um, there's external factors in the way. They feel like they're going through a period of bad luck here. Nothing is going in their favor, right? So that is why they're holding back. They don't want to but they're doing their best to restrain themselves. Why is temperance? Do you see all the major arcana coming through in their feelings? And they're all in reverse. So there is, the, you know, some blockages the universe is putting before them as well. Some of you, it's that case where your guide stepped in to protect you from this energy. If that is the case, you'd know, especially if you were dealing with someone very toxic. Why is temperance in reverse here for how this person will be feeling? You know, so some of you may have blocked this person, you cut them out, you establish healthier boundaries, and this person has no choice, right? They can't come towards you. Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy coming through. Yeah, one of you went cold on the other. This, a lot of you, this King of Wands energy is the person that you're thinking about who is still wanting to give to this because you make them very happy, Ten of Cups, right? But this can be someone who was two-timing. Um, some of them may even have had a family and they were giving to two with the Six of Pentacles. Or they were just someone who was non-committal, right? Playing the field and you had enough of them. That is coming through. Yeah, some of you were dealing with a juggler that was non-committal. Ten of Pentacles, they weren't giving you what you deserve. Their intentions, we have Eight of Wands, Page of Wands in reverse. This is communication, 
but they're not <laughs> they're both in reverse so they're intentionally holding back which we had in their feelings they're saying it's not the right time things won't go in my favor even if i were to approach you and some of you you've completely closed off from them right so they're waiting you down your sword here so there may be some fear coming through as well right which is why they were patiently assessing the situation so for the latter half of april i don't see much communication i see blockages in communication so they're intending to hold back they're not coming towards you what action they're taking justice they, they feel that they're in the right for holding back that they're trying to do the right thing that they're being objective here if they already have say a family justice is clarifying justice okay seven of pentacles that's telling me they have a decision to make so for the time being they're indecisive what they want to do this is someone who's taking a step back they're not communicating ace of swords in reverse empress upright eight of wands in reverse but they haven't left the situation yet right had it been this way we'd say they're leaning in the direction of i'm letting go but they're still watching assessing what should my next move be right they're strategizing here when it comes to you so it, it won't be surprising if you don't hear for th from them for a bit here because they're really dragging their feet right some of you bringing small offers your way they do want to gift you something some of you can be a gift of an apology wanting to heal things wanting a friendship wanting to make things right but they're taking their time here with the apology if that is the case or if it's you know just a new person in general right they have some trust issues it can be someone who's just taking their time before they give you an offer and the offer they're bringing towards you is a page so it's just a start of something but yes a lot of overthinking um, and planning their next move when it comes to you your feelings two of wands in reverse start upright you're healing um, you're saying i don't know if i see a future here with you um, so you're not coming together you're not planning anything um, you're moving away actually if we look at the two of wands he's looking away from the spread you're looking towards your future and you're feeling very hopeful about your future um, the star is a card of healing as well so if there was any uh, disappointment surrounding the situation you'll be coming out of that why is two of wands in reverse for how pisces will be feeling six of cups hangman they're saying that two of wands in reverse because of the past six of cups something about children could be coming through here as well why is two of wands in reverse for how pisces will be feeling someone is giving child support six of pentacles six of cups four of pentacles ten of wands yeah you're you're attention you're diverting your attention to some work situation and you're very busy here is what i'm getting so you may not be able to give the situation much attention here and you're done right if this was a toxic cycle you're stuck in it's too much for you to carry right why is the star here for how pisces will be feeling why is the star here sun oh this is so beautiful feeling very happy emotionally fulfilled life is good for you i'm getting there maybe if you're um, wanting a new job that may be coming through but a dear wish is granted what are you wishing for why a star here you're healing you're feeling like yourself you're feeling on top of the world you're feeling very good why is the star here some of you could be going on a date with the 11th house and the 5th house or you may meet someone through a friend yeah page of cups maybe this person here as well who's been taking their time and that is bringing you a lot of happiness but some of you i'm getting it maybe a new energy coming through because there's one energy you're saying i don't see a future with you right or it can be that situation where there's just delays right or if it's someone new then it's too early to make any plans for the future but your future looks bright that is what i'm getting with the star and the sun 
It's interesting, if we look at the major arcana in this person's energy, we had a lot of reversals. If I look at the major arcana in your energy, they're all upright. So definitely seeing justice, the scales will be balanced and I'm seeing good karma headed your way. Your outcome of the world, five of wands. So you're putting an end to something, you're completing something, a lesson is learned. Why is the world here for Pisces outcome? Three of Pentacles, yeah, you're not putting, there's one situation you're leaving behind. It can't even be a job because we have the Eight of Pentacles and I was seeing a new job opportunity. Um, especially if there was a lot of competition or bickering or, yeah, just not seeing eye to eye. That is what you're leaving behind. Why is five of wands here upright? That's too many. Hey man, why is five of wands here for Pisces outcome? It's a really positive reading. Yeah, this pretty much, you may be turning down um, sex-based connections. And that you have a lot of opportunity for if you want something physical or passion, passionate, but I see you restraining yourself. Um, you're not, and also, you know, passion, fire. With five of wands, it can be um, you keeping yourself away from drama, petty arguments, right? You're, right? you're rising above these, whatever this bickering is here. magician in reverse some of you you will be getting communication and you may turn that down is what the cards are indicating so yeah i don't think you some of you are completely done with the situation but whoever you're dealing with is not and then others of you there's two people i'm picking up on a past and a new and you'll be going out on a date here and if you do go on a date here, end of April, it, it'll be a very positive experience for you. Very uplifting. This person's outcome, we have five of swords, strength in reverse. This combination is saying, I'm throwing my hands up, I give up, right? So in their outcome, they're giving up here. Um, you're not even looking at them. Even if we look at the strength, the backs are turned here, right? Why is five of swords here in reverse for this person's outcome? Why do they feel defeated? They want you, they secretly yearn for you, but they're not fighting for this. They're sad about this being a missed opportunity with you. There's emotions here, but they weren't being expressed. Some of you, this could have been something secretive about this situation. Sort of, a, it can even be a secret admirer, but others of you just a hidden affair, and this person's not fighting for this. Yeah, because they may even have a family, Ten of Cups. Why is strength in reverse? Look. Why is strength in reverse? For this person on Pisces mind. They're not the most confident here in the outcome either. Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups, Page of Wands. You'll hear from them again. They're not at the strongest, but I think they'll have a hard time. Um, they'll they'll be they'll have a weak moment and they'll want to reach out. Is what I'm getting for a lot of you. I think it took a lot from them to hold back from you, and that they're dropping that facade, that guard, whatever they were doing here with justice, because they do have love for you, Knight of Cups. You have an offer coming in, an expression of love. What is the person on Pisces' mind, intentions towards Pisces for the rest of April 2022? I can't give you what you want right now. Love yourself first. If you, I don't see neediness or codependency in your energy, but if you resonate with that message, it's a general reading. Um, this can be a message from your guides as well. Love yourself first, right? I can't give you what you want right now. I see that because they weren't coming towards you and their intentions, right? I was seeing blockages. They were saying it's not the right time. A 
I'm deciding to stay single. I can't handle anything serious at the moment. I see that. They have a lot of healing that they need to do. Right? <laughs> I'm going to pop in and out of your life whenever I please. I'm going to leave you hanging. I only care about my needs, which is why you're saying I don't really care. Right? You have other people vying for your attention. In fact, you're actually having to filter through these options you have is what I'm getting if you're actively dating. There's, this is a lot of people, energies coming at you, wanting a piece of you, but you have high standards, so you're not easily available just to anyone, right? You're looking for substance is what I'm getting with strength. You don't want just passion. It's, it's been difficult seeing a future together. I'm sorry I have to walk away. That may be a mutual energy, but in the outcome, I sort of see a twist here, right? With this person wanting to turn back around. What is this person's intentions towards Pisces for the rest of... Oh, okay. Can you learn to trust me? I'm going to be honest with you. You're important to me. Uh, this, is where, this is where it turns around here. It's in your hands if you want to see us move forward, but I've done my part, now it's your turn. Please t please take my call, let's forget the past and start over. Knight of Cups. They have a weak moment here in their outcome and their background. So you'll have a decision to make. Is it worth it? Or do you want to start a new chapter away from this person? So you'll have a decision to make. Can you learn to trust them? They're asking you, can you learn to trust me? If it's a new person, I mean, we have, I'm a bit immature, but I'm a dreamer and capable of deep feelings. Let's have some fun flirting with each other. This can be a new person you're dating as well. They're saying they're capable of deeper feelings. It may not be there yet, but it can get there. Advice. Let's get you advice. What advice do you have for Pisces? In regards to this person on their mind. We have lighten up Pisces your advice lighten up and enjoy the journey take time to play more because even the smallest things can initiate change within you to live life with love and joy yeah look at you I don't think you're bothered you <laughs> yeah I think you're on the right track is really what they're saying I don't really see this as advice because you're already headed towards happiness towards the sun, right? Um, clarity, truth, you see things clearly. You're not confused, you know where you're headed, you know what you want is what is coming through. And you're feeling very optimistic. So if you've been feeling a bit down on your luck or you know, just pessimistic mindset, you'll be shifting your mindset here. And that is bringing in a lot of blessings. I actually want to, I didn't do this for the other signs, I want to get this deck and clarify what you're feeling so happy about. <laughs> I know it's a mindset, but is there a specific thing that you're happy about? What is this? Clarify the star and sun for Pisces. Why is the sun here for Pisces? What are you so happy about, Pisces? Hobbies? Okay, definitely. Uh, fifth house can be hobbies. Um, making more time for play, which they're wanting you to lighten up. Hobbies are a great way to distract you from worries and troubles. Create a roadmap and turn your hobby into a side hustle. So this is your creativity. Some project, some of you are artists, and that is what is bringing you a lot of joy, your hobbies. And it may be helping you heal from um, some difficult emotions. It's helping you get out of your head. That is coming through. It's beautiful. But yes, Pisces, hopefully you gain something out of this reading. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.